Hey guys, happy Friday. Ooh, thank God that is Friday. But I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. I am downstairs because I got a couple packages this week. Um, I'm really trying to kind of turn the uh, a part of the basement area into kind of like a studio where I can have all of my stuff kind of down here where it's easier for me to um, film content. So I ordered a backdrop. Let me see if I can show you guys. This is the backdrop. Um, got everything in here. Got the clips and stuff. So I just need to really put it together. Here are two of my box lights that I've had. I've had one of them for um, a couple years now and just bought another one this year. Um, I do have a ring light as well, which is pretty much what I film with. I'm really trying to step my game up when it comes to my equipment and filming and stuff. So um, it's taken me a little bit longer to get to where I'm trying to go, but that's okay. I'll get there. And then I have the actual backdrop paper um, to use as a backdrop. And this time I only bought white, um, but I do want to get another one. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to try my best to go ahead and set this up. I'm going to try to um, go through some of this stuff in the basement because I've been tossing out stuff, y'all, seem like for years. You know, my grandparents, <laughs> they, they were hoarders. And honestly, I feel like I'm kind of taking after them. Even though I don't like junk and clutter, I just feel like we have all this stuff that we need to get rid of. So I'm going to go through some of this stuff today. I will show y'all, y'all, but it's just, it's not as bad as it was, but it's still like a lot of just paper and hangers and just junk that needs to go. So I'm going to work on all this stuff today and um, yeah, I'll come back a little bit later. Okay, guys, so this is what I have so far. I got the backdrop stand up and the backdrop paper on here. And this is just how it looks at the bottom. So this is probably all I'm going to do for right now. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's me and I am just arriving over to my friend's house. I We're getting ready to um, just run a couple of errands and stuff. So, you know, I'll try to show you guys whatever we do today. I got this dress on today. I got this dress, I don't know if you guys can kind of see it, but I got this dress from Marshalls, maybe like the beginning of the year. I'll try to give you guys a better picture. And then I have on my um, Zara, let me see if I can just take off my shoe. I got on these Zara slides that I picked up towards the beginning of the year. Also, I just hadn't had a chance to wear them, but um, I really like them so far. It's been raining here already this morning, and uh, so I'm definitely gonna have to take my umbrella. So let me jump off here, let me make sure I have everything. I need to get some mask and um, my purse and all that kind of stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. That's Burn, y'all. Say hey, Burn. Hey. <laughs> this is Burn. Guy. What you get, Burn? Uh, egg and cheese, ham omelet. Okay, with... Uh, Chicken sausage. Okay. My pancakes. All right. And I got what did I get? A uh, spinach and feta cheese omelet, hash brown pancakes, and chicken sausage. So yes. We finna eat. Yes. <laughs> look at look at, look at all this stuff burn got in her hand. Ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at it. All this stuff, y'all. Hey, guys. It's me. I am back. Excuse how I'm looking. Your girl is tired. First of all, happy Sunday. And I ran some errands with me and my friend. We went to um, a couple grocery stores today just to kind of um, get some things that we needed. I didn't do a grocery haul. I didn't even vlog while we were out because you guys have seen me do grocery hauls and stuff so I'm just giving it a break for right now but I will do more grocery hauls just not I just didn't do it today um, yesterday me and another one of my friends we went out and we had a really good day yesterday 
and I wanted to quickly show you guys some of the things that I picked up now the items that I did pick up on yesterday they are early birthday gifts for me if you guys don't know my birthday is next month but I've already started shopping and I'll show you guys a few items that I picked up today from the Dollar Tree the first store that I'm going to show you guys is from of course Sephora in there because I wanted to check out I went in there because there were a couple products that I have been interested in. So the first two products that I was interested in is by Patrick Starr. I picked up a mini size of the One Size Makeup Dissolving Mist. And I wanna say this was $18. And again, this is the mini size. I just wanted to kind of see how it worked and see if I liked it before I committed to buying the full size of it. So I got this. Then I also picked up the one size the juiciest makeup remover wipes and these are the mini size too you only get 10 wipes in here and these were like eight dollars so i just thought that i would check these out now i have tried the wipes already and um i tried them yesterday even though i didn't have a whole lot of makeup on i mean it did really it did take my makeup off so i can't wait to try these like once i have on foundation and stuff like that once i have on the full glam to see how these work but so far so good so yeah okay, another product that i have been interested in trying this is really new just came out I don't know it's been less than a month ago i do believe and it's by laneige and or laneige and this is the glowy makeup serum and it's supposed to hydrate and it's supposed to be for long lasting makeup wear and this is the packaging on that and the thing that i can say about the about laneige is i definitely love their skincare stuff um it's very very good to me and it's and it's very affordable especially like if you get like the uh, I think it's like the travel size. They have one for dry skin and then they have one for oily skin. I've tried the one for normal to dry skin and I love the products. Um, I would definitely repurchase. So I was really interested in trying this out. This is how the bottle looks. And the bottle looks so pretty. It's a beautiful like pink color with glitter and stuff. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous and you know it's like a dropper so and it looks like it. and the product actually kind of looks like the bottle I don't know if you guys can kind of see that let's see how the bottle looks where it has the pink sparkle in it that's how the actual product look so I would definitely keep you guys posted on um, how I like this okay and the next thing I got is something that I've been wanting to try for a while as well and this is the milk makeup vegan milk cleanser I have been wanting to try this when I saw that they had the um, mini size of this I was like I'm picking it up you guys know that I love the milk the vegan milk moisturizer I definitely want to eventually get the full size of that but for right now I do have I do have the mini size of the moisturizer but as you guys can see I love it so much I probably should have bought another one I probably should have bought the full size yesterday but I didn't <laughs> But anyway, I have the cleanser and I am very interested in trying out the cleanser. I think that you get a nice amount of product, um, especially for the money. So I can't wait to try this out. I'll probably use this tonight just to see how I'm liking it. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. The last two products that I actually picked up from Sephora are both fragrances, perfumes, rollerballs. <laughs> um... I knew that I wanted to try the Lancome Idol. I think that's how you pronounce it, Idol, Idol. And I've heard nothing but great things about it. And since you can't really, I mean, you can smell it in the store. You can't get samples anymore to bring home to make sure that you really like it. Since the rollerballs are not that expensive, I decided that I was going to go ahead and get this this one and, and try it and see how I like it. I'll read the notes to you so you guys will know how it's supposed to smell i like floral i mean i guess i like a variety of scents but i guess my go-to would be kind of like a floral scent or sweet but i do like the spicy warm scents too it just depends on i guess what's in it and how it smells so this is a floral scent 
And the key notes are Spotless Jasmine Absolute, Radical Rose Essence, and Clean, I don't know what this is, Clean Chipery Accord. So yeah, that's what's in it. And I like, I like Jasmine and I like Rose. And so, yeah. So it's a floral scent. So if you like florals and you're in the market for something, definitely um, see if you can smell this and see if it's something that you would be interested in. And then the next one that I picked up, it's one that the the guy that was helping me and my friend with the fragrances, he actually pointed this one out to me. I fell in love with it. And I I guess this, this just, I never even thought about um, their perfumes. And this is by um, Burberry. This is the Burberry Her uh, perfume and it smells really really good this is the box the box is really really pretty and then this is how it actually looks and again this is a ooh, smells so good this is a rollerball so yeah i never even thought about burberry for some reason i don't know why but when i smell that one i actually do i think i like this one so far more than i like the Lancome one but I still have to really kind of give the Lancome one a chance but let me read the notes to you guys in the Burberry one okay so this one is a floral scent as well it's a fruity floral that's how they describe it on the website and it has dark berries jasmine and musk amber and y'all it smells so good I love it I love it I love it I love it and this for sure I am going to I'm gonna wait until Sephora has their fall sale but I'm definitely going to pick up the full size of this because I love it so yeah so that's everything that I picked up from Sephora okay guys so the next thing I'm gonna show you guys are things that I picked up from the Gabby Gab now, I don't shop at The Gap all the time. As a matter of fact, I don't shop in The Gap often at all. One thing I do like about The Gap, I love their pajamas. So, um, I definitely wanted to get me a nice pair of pajamas out of there. The dress that I'm actually wearing, I did pick it up from The Gap. Okay, so this is just how the dress looks um, that I picked up from The the gap it's just you know just something to kind of throw on but it's really really comfortable and i love how the back looks and stuff so yeah i really like this I actually picked up another dress from the gap too and it's in green y'all green is a color that i love to wear i don't know if y'all can tell that but i love to wear green and i got this long kind of racer back dress it's really long but y'all the way the bottom is kind of cut can y'all see that I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it on the on the bed and then i'll show it to you guys okay guys so this is the dress and it kind of has that racer back detail to it but it's super long and what i really like about this dress is the bottom because of how it's cut and how it's kind of made at the bottom i really like it it's super super cute and yeah, I mean, it was on sale at The Gap, and they had these in different colors. And again, this is just one of those throw-on dresses where you don't have to really think about, hey, what am I going to wear today, and you still want to be cute. This is it, honey. This is kind of how it falls at the bottom. This is the front side, and this is kind of how it falls at the bottom. It's really, really pretty, and I love it. And I got two bras out of there i won't show you guys the bras but uh they i picked them up because they were buy one get one half off or something like that so i couldn't pass them up and i needed new bras too and then the last thing i got out of there was some pjs and i thought this color was really cute and really fun um, especially for summer so these are the pants that i got how cute are these pants y'all look at the bottom like how cute are these where you could tie them in the front these are just these are to die for i love these of course i got the matching shirt to go with it and i thought these colors were just so cute and so fun and so girly and you know it just makes you want to just pamper yourself get yourself ready for bed and just look cute you know so 
which is what I'm gonna do today. Um, can't wait to wear my new pajamas today. And then I'm gonna show you guys just quickly what I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I picked this up, it has the hearts and stuff on it. It's just a notebook that I could use to, you know, just write different things in. So, um, so I picked this up and I also picked up a journal because I do like to journal and I thought this would be really cute for me to use as a journal and it just has be bold on the front of it so I thought this was really cute for a dollar you can't beat that so got that and then I got these cute little pens to go along with those how cute are these I bought some title now I got two packets of this so uh, I have another one somewhere but I needed this because I was out and sometimes I get really really bad headaches ex especially when I have like stressful days I, I need these. I picked up another charcoal infused toothbrush. Picked up another thing of hydrocortisone cream that I need. And then I picked up this ultimate white charcoal powder. Um, this is supposed to naturally help to whiten your teeth. So I thought I would try this out. And then the last bag of stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree, my friend, she found this. And this is the, the Mio Vitamins um, on the go packets. And it has the acai blueberry. Um, and you get five packs of these. And you can just put this in your water and shake it up. You know, when you want to change, you don't just want to just drink plain water. You could just add this to it and go on about your day. And then I got another toilet bowl cleaner. Um, I got a Twix bar too. I needed some chocolate y'all, but my Twix bar is has melted. And then I got some sunflower seeds. I got this little potted lavender flower. My friend, again, she found this and I thought it was so cute. And um, so I got one too. How cute is that? From the Dollar Tree you know just somewhere just to kind of spruce up your your living area and stuff so I thought that was so cute how cute is that so um, pick that up too so yeah a thousand dollars y'all at the Dollar Tree ridiculous but anyway um, I'm getting ready to clean out my closet I'll show you guys the before and I'll show you guys the after don't judge me but my closet needs to be clean so let's get to that okay y'all so this is my closet. I have my little area where I have all my little girly stuff, everything you need, all your supplies and everything on all these three tiers here. I got shoes down there, shoes stacked up, some stuff behind <laughs> behind these clothes. I got some other some more shoes. But y'all, that ain't even the issue. The issue is this mess right here. <laughs> Do y'all see this volcano? <laughs> it's ridiculous. And most of the stuff, y'all, it's new stuff that I bought like the beginning of this year and some even last year. But a lot of it this year, the very beginning of this year that I have not gotten a chance to wear. I was buying stuff for the summer and all kind of stuff. And I just haven't had a chance to wear it. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this stuff some of the stuff I have worn but like I said most of it is new stuff that I have not even touched and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do and then in the bins up top this is new stuff too it's a lot of new shirts and stuff in here for um, spring summer fall winter um, and then the second basket is my workout stuff and then that last basket is most of like my purses, belts, just all kind of accessory type stuff. And y'all, this ain't even the surface of my stuff because I got a bunch of stuff downstairs. But I just need to get this together today. If I could just get this together today, I'd be doing good. So, like I said, don't judge me. Let me pull myself together so that I can kind of straighten this out. So, I'll be back y'all when you buy so much stuff you forget what you done bought i forgot i bought these earrings from zara like i said at the beginning of the year so i'm gonna have to and these were like 20 bucks you guys can see 
and uh, I'm gonna have to put these to use because these are super cute. Okay guys, so I am back with the small little closet declutter that I did for you guys today. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, these clothes are still here because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with those yet. Um, I did organize my thing a little bit better, although I do have a couple more products that need to go on here. Um, I'll put them back later on. This is how the closet is looking now. I straighten it out and as you can see the clothes are, I hung, up, I hung up some of them and some of the newer clothes I still have in the Zara box. This is how the closet looking and yes I do have stuffed animals. These are animals, these stuffed animals were animals given to me over the years. Um, some that I bought myself like the tiger. I bought that from Tennessee State and I love it. It reminds me of my school and all the other bears are gifts from my uncle who has passed on so I keep them. It looks much better than it did before. So. Okay guys, so I cleaned out my desk drawer. I moved my lashes from my Alex 9 drawers. My lashes and some press on nails that I haven't used yet. I moved them over here because I have more room over here than I do in the drawer. So for right now, this is where they'll be. And I kind of divided the, the drawer um, so that I could have um, some of my notebooks and stuff in here. So yeah, so this is what the drawer is looking like. Um, still a little cluttered for my liking, but it works for now. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm getting ready to make this cinnamon raisin walnut bread for me and my grandfather. This is gonna be our little dessert today. My friend was telling me that these this is very good. So I'm going to toast it a little bit and have it. I wish I had some like vanilla ice cream, but I don't have that today. So I'm just gonna have it with this bread. Um, I will show you guys how it looks once I'm done fixing it. Okay guys, this is my cinnamon raisin walnut bread. I toasted it and it looks really good. I cannot wait to eat it. So I'll let you guys know how it is. I have my eucalyptus candle going tonight. And I also have my diffuser going tonight as well. I added some peppermint and orange essential oil to it and it smells so good. So yes, this is me relaxing. Okay guys, so this is me with my new pajamas on from The Gap. They are super comfortable. I love them. I love the, the colors in this. Very fun, very cute, very girly. And I love that it's short sleeve, you know, very nice for the summer to sleep in, very breathable. So I really like these. I'm glad that I picked these up. And I may actually go in there and see if they have some more. But yeah, this is, this is me ready for bed. <laughs> 